He's experiencing a far better adoption rate than the other subjects. I'm still pulling him out. He's been in there way too long. No, not yet. We're still so far from where we need to be. We shouldn't risk it. What's another hour or two? Why don't we discuss this in the conference room? Give Desmond a minute to stretch his legs. I, I really don't see the need. Warren, please. Fine. Can't even change my clothes. I appreciate your questioning my authority in front of the prisoner. There's a word for that. I believe it's called insubordination. And I don't appreciate you trying to kill him. There's a word for that too. I believe it's called stupid. Lucy, this isn't my decision. I don't set the deadline but I'm smart enough not to challenge them. Do you want to wind up like Layla? I know the accident has everyone on edge. Which is why there's no time to coddle him. If you push him too hard, he'll shut down, and then we'll have nothing. We have nothing now. But we will. We just need to have a little faith. Fine, but I want you thinking of ways to improve his staying power. We can't afford to stop every time the man breaks a sweat. It's bad enough we have to trace through all of these useless memories. I'll do what I can. We're done for today, Mr. Miles. I suggest you return to your room and get some rest. So you're really an assassin? Like Altair? Yes and no. What do you mean? I was supposed to be one, but I ran away from the farm when I was 16. Farm? Yeah, that's what they call the place where I grew up. The farm. Like Messiah, I guess. Only not so, uh, creepy. Just a small community in the middle of nowhere. About 30 of us living, you know, off the grid. Why? Thought my parents were just crazy hippies trying to stick it to the man, you know? My dad was always going on about our enemies, how they'd be looking for us, how we'd have to be prepared. No one ever came. Nothing ever happened. Why'd you run away? I could never leave the compound. You have any idea what it feels like being trapped in a place, knowing there was a whole world out there I'd never get to see? Don't you miss your parents? No. As far as I'm concerned, they weren't my parents. They were my wardens, and I was their prisoner. It sounds like they only wanted to protect you. With all that's happened, I don't know. I guess they were right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to dredge up the past. It's all right. Gives me something to think about. Try and get some sleep. We've got a long day ahead of us tomorrow. I've got a question for you before I turn in. Sure. How did they find me? I mean... I haven't been anywhere near another assassin for 10 years. Use your real name? Nope. Not before today. Credit cards? Cash only. Telephone? There's <laughs> no one to call. Driver's license? Motorcycle. Guilty pleasure. There's your answer. Photo, fingerprint. This is a drug company. What does Abstergo have to do with the DMV? Desmond, these guys are everywhere. They... I... I'm sorry, I, I really can't talk about it.
damn it, they locked the door. I gotta say, that's a little creepy, Doc. Waking up to you standing over me. You've been watching me sleep? We're always watching you. Now get up. We've got a lot of work to do. Ooh, wonder who I get to kill today. Don't be so cavalier. Your ancestors almost had the right idea, Mr. Miles. If the deaths of a few people, evil people, no less, could save the lives of thousands more, well... It seems a small sacrifice. What do you mean, almost? They didn't go far enough. To use a rather tired analogy, corruption is no different than cancer. Cut out the tumors, but fail to treat the source and... Well, you're buying time at best. There's no true change to be had without comprehensive, systemic intervention. Chemo for the masses. Education. Re-education, to be more precise. But it's not easy, and it doesn't always take. Let me guess. You've got a better solution. What is it, then? <laughs> now that would be telling. 